Good day everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about the national hero of the Philippines. And I'm going to use the very first Philippine asset I created for City Skylines. Let's begin. I started creating Philippine assets for City Skylines over a year ago because there wasn't really much available in the Steam Workshop at the time. And there's no other best asset to start with than the most famous landmark in the Philippines, the Rizal Monument. Dr. Jose Rizal is the national hero of the Philippines. And he's not only admired for being a genius, but also for taking a stand and resisting the Spanish colonial government. Rizal will always be remembered for his compassion towards the Filipino people and the country. And his execution in 1898 sparked a revolution to overthrow the Spanish tyranny. The Rizal Monument was built to commemorate his ultimate sacrifice. It was designed by a Swiss sculptor named Richard Kisling. The monument is located in Rizal Park, also known as Luneta Park, right in the heart of Manila. It is considered as the center of the country. The monument consists of a standing bronze sculpture of Rizal with an obelisk set on a stone base within which his remains are interred. An exact replica of the monument can be found in Madrid, Spain, at the junction of Avenida de las Islas Filipinas and Calle Santander. In 2002, another replica was built in the heart of the southern Chinese city in Xinjiang to recognize Rizal's Chinese ancestral roots. In the past decade, there was a huge controversy with the building of Torre de Manila. Torre de Manila is a legitimate residential condominium project. The building has been controversial due to its proximity to the Rizal Monument. It is approximately 870 meters away from the monument and about 30 meters from the outermost edge of Luneta Park. The condominium was severely demonized in the media as a national photo bomber and a national disgrace to Rizal. Various attempts to halt construction were made from 2012 to 2017. However, the concept of photobombing in relation to national monuments and shrines is not in the law. In 2017, the court ruled in favor of Torre de Manila's developer, effectively deflecting further attempts to stop the construction of the building. I really do think that buildings and high-rises, including those around public monuments, are inevitable in metropolitan areas because of the increase in population and the lack of available land space. Some people may say, oh, what about Paris? Yes, their city council set a height limit of 121 feet for buildings within the city limits, which allowed famous monuments like the Eiffel Tower and Arc de Triomphe to reign unchallenged. But the Rizal Monument is only 42 feet tall, which is about four stories high. Restrictions against the construction of these buildings would create a dangerous precedent and result in economic disaster. So in spite of all that, I really wanted to pay tribute to the national hero. But unless I put him on a desert, then there will be visible buildings in the backdrop. But I really tried to keep the view as pleasing to the eye as possible. What do you guys think? If you think you have a better solution, please let us know in the comment below. And by the way, I would like to thank all of you for your support in the past couple of weeks. This channel has grown exponentially since the last episode. And for my Filipino people, pasensya na po kayo kung hindi ako masyadong nagtatagalog dahil meron po tayong mga taga-subaybay na galing sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. Simula at simula pa lang ay sinuporta na nila ang ating channel, kaya ayaw ko naman po silang kaligtaan. Alam ko po naman na lahat tayo ay nakakaintindi ng Ingles. At para po sa inyong mga katanungan ay huwag po kayong magatubili na padala na ko ng mensahe sa aking Facebook at Instagram account. So, I'll explain what I'm doing here real quick. I learned this technique from City Walk City Wall. He is one of the best City Skylines builder currently in my opinion. If you haven't heard of him, make sure to check out his series Kobayashi Island and Mars series. It's literally out of this world. So if you find it difficult dealing with elevated props and trees, you can use these tunnel blocks by Ronix69. The great thing about these blocks are props and trees can snap to them if you're using props and tree snapping mod. Then once you've deleted them, then you'll have a perfectly aligned floating props and trees. 
All of the assets and mods I'm using are listed in the Isla Ivatan collection, which is listed in the description below. Some of you are asking if they are compatible with the uh, Sunset Harbor DLC, and the answer is yes. I'm currently using Sunset Harbor and I've never had a problem with them. If you are new to this channel, thanks for tuning in and let me know what you think about this build. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, don't hesitate to comment down below or send me a message. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.